Hello everyone, Justin here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm drawing this elf girl and because the head is rotated and her head is kind of tilted downward, I started out actually with a ball and drawing the horizontal line and the midline of the ball so that it's tilted and rotated just so I can mark out where the eyes are as well as the central features of the face including the nose and the mouth. This just kind of makes things easier a little bit. And after that, I just go ahead and start putting in the main features, including the eyes. And depending on how happy I am with where I'm placing these features, I'll go ahead and start putting in my darker tones. But oftentimes, depending on how realistic I really want it to be with reference to my picture or my reference picture, I'll make sure everything is correct first, all the proportions before I'll start making any final shading. But here this is just kind of like a rough sketch. So I just went ahead and went ahead and uh, started putting in all my tones. And you'll notice that I switch back and forth between two different mechanical pencils. One has 4B lead, which allows me to get a little bit darker tones, although for some reason these tones just don't seem as dark as I thought it should be. Um, anyway, so I've got the hair going here and as I mentioned before in a previous video with using lines, the lines can really convey a lot as far as not just different tones, light and shade, but also the surface texture as well as the surface shape. So definitely for the hair because it consists of uh, a lot of hair strands you pretty much want to kind of keep your uh, pencil strokes in the direction of the hair I go ahead and put in some of the darker shadows just to separate some of the hair strands a bit and I'm not really trying for true realism here as you notice like say with the nose and the ears I have a distinct pencil line that outlines those features and I just leave it there. I use a variety of techniques to shade. Sometimes I'll just, just use my finger as I do here. And in this case, I wanted the bottom part of the drawing to be a little bit more clear. So I used a piece of paper to delineate the bottom part just so it doesn't kind of go off into the distance and uh, without any definite end. So I hope you enjoyed this little uh, sketch and I'll see you next time. Thanks and have a great day.